was the first one hired anyway? Yeah, I can, I can claim um, primacy of honor on, on that. I'm not really sure it's such a distinction, but uh, I had been on the faculty here at Georgia State since 1977. And I'd point out to you that uh, last Saturday was my 30th anniversary, uh, sitting at basically the same desk. Um, so when the, when the law school uh, began, the discussions of the law school and the political interaction between the legislature and uh, the Board of Regents took place, I was actually here in the, in the spring of that year, February, March, uh, because it was, of course, in the summer when the Johnny Come Latelys uh, finally appeared. Is he referring to I'm, us? I'm referring to you and the, 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 the four others who were, who were in the first faculty. The non-natives. Yeah, that's true. Well, Ben was was working on the law school, but he was still at Emory because I met him in the spring of 1981. That's yeah. how yeah. that's how I came to know Ben. And, and, and he was the person we had to depend on to come to a new city. Yeah. And that when when he brought us in, there was nothing but wreckage on the first floor in the assurance <laughs> that it was going to turn into a law school real soon. Now, All right? I remember Mary Roberts took a picture. I still have that picture. It's just the front of the building, and it said College of Law. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to sign a contract <laughs> until I see some tangible evidence that yeah. there's really going to be a law school. Because yeah. as Jim said, we, we just went on faith. I mean, you had... Oh, we went on Ben. We really yeah, relied right. on Ben. That's right. Right. He brought a kind of instant credibility because he had, no a, doubt about a, it. He had a track record in legal education. Well, he had he'd a been track in the, record at the legislature. Yeah. And uh, uh, just was a known quantity in Georgia. Which is probably the best decision that could have been made for the law school at that point in our history. Yeah. There was a lot of wishful thinking involved in the early yeah, days was. of the law school Boy, about was. how much of a budget it would take and how hard it was going to be. It's what we used, old English majors would call the willing suspension of disbelief <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it was a, they talk, thought they could start a law school for $2 million. Right. Well, and I don't uh, know if they were serious about that figure even at that point. There, there, was, there was never enough money, and the, law, the funding of the law school was basically wrung out of the rest That's of the exactly university. Right. That is exactly which right. Which earned us some really enmity, enmity that lasted <laughs> yeah. for decades, really. Well, you make a, you make a good point, though. The, um, there was no independent funding for the law school. No, no money had been right. appropriated by the legislature. Everything we had had to be... Um, taken from somebody else inside the university. Right. And Ben was, was an absolute apostle uh, of the fact that we should be grateful to everyone else in the university because without their forbearance, without their tolerance, we simply would have had no space, right. no budget, no personnel, no books, no and nothing. And no law school. And no law school. Jim and I were reflecting uh, the other day on the, on the way that in the first couple of years uh, when Ben was dean, we basically ate lunch together every single day. That's true. It was like a, every lunchtime was a faculty meeting. Uh, faculty we, did oh, the God, administration at this place uh, for a very long time. Right. We've been, sure uh, what I remember about that was when I was associate dean, we now moved ahead a little bit, and I remember you came into my office one day, <clears throat> and every time you came in, I always thought I'd done something wrong. And Jim said, is it true, it started, he started out, is it true that we allow <laughs> evening students to enroll in the day and day students to enroll in the evening? And I thought, my God, there's some ABA rule that I've, <laughs> I've overlooked. Over overlooked and I'm, I'm yeah. toast. And uh, I said, yes. And he said, that's great. He said, we're going to publicize that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. marched out of my office. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, we, we, we made it into a virtue. And we said exactly. it was our, our program has all these flexible choices after Which I a lot of that programs we don't. And, uh, yeah. But in terms of you know, the, the question of whether I, I think uh, any of us ever doubted that this institution would be a success, I never entertained a shadow of a doubt. Nor did I. It, it just it never, it never seemed to be even within the realm of possibility. Um, I may have had some questions about how rapidly we could move towards being a mature law school, but I never questioned the success of this place, especially right. after the first year class was in, because uh, they were a special group of people. They were. They were adventurous um, in a way that... They were pioneers. Well, they were willing I mean, to take a, take a risk. Yeah, and in fact, until we got provisional accreditation, they were at risk. Yeah. Uh, but we have a great future, I think. I, I think that, you know, we're pretty solidly planted and uh, we're... Uh, 
the future is just bright from here on out, I think. We managed to get to something like maturity without ever going through adolescence. I don't know how we managed that. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a great leap forward. We were too old to go through adolescence. But you know, in a, in a real sense, though, the um, I, I think it's important to keep in mind that the, even the even the faculty that's here now and the students who are here now are really, in a sense, founders. I mean, well, we are still a young institution uh, with, we have a dean with who miles to go. To a founder. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the first in-house permanent dean, as opposed to acting dean, yeah. was was somebody who came at the, the third year of the law school. That's so. true. You know who hired him? Who interviewed him first? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. I just want, I don't want that to be forgotten. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> You weren't going to pay for that, were you? <laughs> <laughs>